person and he fellowship and the fellowship of his sufferings being made comfortably unto his death. If by any means that I may attain unto his resurrection of the death, not as though I have already attained either were ready already perfect but I follow after if that I may stay apprehended that for which also I apprehended of Jesus Christ brethren I counted not myself to have apprehended but his own this one thing I do forgetting those things which are behind me and reaching for those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God and Jesus Christ. In this, these verses, Paul is not talking about salvation in these verses. He knows that his salvation is subtle. But if we don't understand this, we may think that we can lose our salvation or have earned it. No, Paul is speaking of a resurrection experience possible now in Christ which he otherwise refers to as the high calling of God in Christ incidentally don't think of high calling of God as in calling given only from some Christians which others may settle for less no the phrase really means the upward calling of God in Christ Jesus. God is calling you upward to him. This is for all. If God is calling you. Christ regarding. Of actual function. In the body of Christ. This is an upward calling. It always is. Um, let go of having life your way and let God take over and lead to lead the best plan he has for your life God has a plan for you before you was formed in your mother and dad's womb I know that it is hard for you to forget those things which are behind you and reach towards those things which are before you you have to press no matter what happens you must press if your friends do you wrong you must press if your family do you wrong you must press if your pastor do you wrong you must press never let your eyes off of God let him continue to guide you lead you on the path that he has marked out for you because if you put your trust in man man will fail you every time but God will continue on if you trust him leading you on the right path you have come as the song say you have come too far you come too far because if you go back you'll be like Lot's wife and turn into a pillar of salt so if you turn around you lose your way it's like going up a hill like I have a I have an issue about going up hills and I get to the bottom and I'll be like no I'm not I don't want to go up the hill but as I push towards it 
I keep going up and I keep going up and I keep going up and then long and behold, I'm at the top of the hill. So that's how you need to be with pressing. You got to press when you don't feel like it. You got to press when people all around you is getting on your nerves. You have to press when you have no money in your pocket. You have to press when you ain't got no money to fix your car. You have to press when you don't have a job. You have to press when your kids get on your nerves. You have to press when your pastor get on your nerves. You still have to press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. No matter what happens, you have to press. You have to keep going. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Keep going and keep going because at the end, you're going to reap all of that, all that pain you had to go through in the beginning, all that hurt, all that let down, all that just everything that makes you upset, you're going to have to keep going. You're going to have to say, you know what? It's like dirt. And you shovel dirt and you go, it go over your shoulder. So you put the shovel in and, and then you pat it down. <coughs> Excuse me. So just think of everything that you've been through all the time that I'm not saying because I'm a woman, so every time a man hurt me, you know what I do with it? I put it and throw it over my shoulder, and then I pat it under my feet. And that's the same thing that for you, gentlemen. If a woman, if you're going through something with a woman or whatever the case may be, I don't know what's going on. But you go, you put it, as use it as dirt, and you got a shovel and throw it over your shoulder and pat it down. See how high you get every time. You get higher and higher every time. So as I come to my close, you, I, me, myself personally, and you out there in Radio Land on I Won't Miss Live, you have to press towards the mark. You have to keep going. You came too far to turn around. There's no need to turn around because there's nothing back there, obviously. So it's just like, you know, when you're driving in the car and it says the object is closer than it appears and you're trying to back up and then you wind up bumping the car, <laughs> that means it's closer. So you have to keep on, just keep going forward. Just keep traveling forward. And I promise you that God will give you everything that you need, everything that you want if you trust them. You have to trust God in everything that you do. Sometimes I get me personally, I'd be like, well, God, why did I have to go through this? And, Lord, you took, you took, I asked God to remove certain people. That's what I did. I didn't think about who he was going to remove. I said, whoever doesn't mean me or my family any good to remove them. So he did. And then I, then I went back and said, Lord, why you remove that person? Because I thought that person was for me. But long and behold, that person meant my family no good. So he kindly removed them. So every time I ask God about certain things and he removes it, I've stopped asking God why. Because if, if I ask him, I went to him and I asked him to remove it and he removes it, it was not meant for me to have. So that being said, when I ask God to remove certain people, and that means I'm going higher in my place in God, and that person must have been my stepping stone. So I stuck right on top of that person, whoever it was, or whatever it was that was in my way from me getting to what God has for me. I had to move. I had to get out the way and let God work it out, and he did. So in my closing, I came too far, and I've been through so much. I have so much on my, I had so much hurt and so much pain. And then I said, God, I want to remove the pain. I want peace. I want understanding. I want life. I want to be happy. And guess what happened? Every day it gets better. Every day it gets sweeter. 
every day I'm more happier. And people just like, well, what happened? Why do you smile so much now? Because I used to fake smile. I used to sit in church and fake smile because I had to put on a persona for certain people. But now my smile is real because I asked God to remove. So when God removed, my smile got bigger. It got I got happier. My kids looking at me like, all right, mommy getting happy. And it wasn't because of friends. It was because I asked God to remove certain people. And when he removed them because they, so, they were stressful, my happiness came back. So I know I said I was closing it earlier. I'm, and if you walk with God, you, you can continue on pressing towards the mark. You came too far. There's no need to turn back. In spite of everything, God has apprehended you for the calling in him. Thank you for listening. Amen. Tragedies are commonplace All kinds of diseases we both live in a way Common is that we get in no pain As for me, all I can say is Thank you Lord for all you done for me Folks with our homes living out in the street And the drug habits some say they just can't be The economy's down, people can't get enough pain As for me, all I can say is Thank you Lord for all you've done for us Hey, it could have been me outdoors with no food and no clothes, all left alone without a friend or just another number with a tragic end, but you didn't see fit. To let none of these things be And every day by your power You keep on, you keep on keeping me And I want to say thank you Lord for all you've done for us Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for all you've done for us. Hey, thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Thank you for. All you done for Thank you 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 Thank you